99% of people still don't want to believe that making money doesn't require hard work. You just need to be smart. You ask why? Well, let me convince you with a short story. One of my friends, Jason, creates content and earns money from it. But to make good content, he has to spend his entire day writing scripts and editing videos, which leaves him no time to hang out with us and have fun. On the other hand, Jason's brother, who is also in the same field, has plenty of free time and even makes more money than Jason. But how is that possible? The same question that popped into your mind, I asked Jason as well, and his answer was, Dude, this is the era of AI. I don't need to sit at home and edit for hours. I just give my video script to AI and it makes the video for me in just a few minutes. But many AIs don't really produce clean videos and the good ones are way too expensive. At least that's what I thought before I got to know Bull Video. Bull Video is one of the most life-changing AIs you can find. Whether you are a content creator, run an advertising company, a seller, a designer, or even an artist, it doesn't matter. This AI has something to offer for everyone. When you enter the Bull homepage, it introduces its amazing features to you. You can directly upload an image you want to turn into a video or simply write down the idea in your mind and it will create a video for you. Let's get into the tutorial. When you're on the homepage, click Explore Now, and after creating your account with email or Google, you'll enter a page where you can choose the tool you want to use. I'll click on Script to Video and write the script I want. For example, I wrote this. In the media library, you're in control. Pick from a ready-made asset folders for instant use, or upload your own to keep everything uniquely yours. After choosing the video ratio, I click Generate. After a few minutes of waiting, the video is ready and wow, it turned out super clean. You'd never guess it was made by AI. If you're not satisfied with something in the video, don't worry. You can change anything you want. On the left side of the screen, you can see all your video scenes and modify anything you don't like. For example, in scene one, I click on the video and replace its image with another one. You can upload any video you like or choose one from the built-in library. I like this new video better, so I select it, click replace, choose which part of the video I want, and then click apply. Now you can see the scene one video has been changed. You can do the same with the voice. In scene one, I click on the microphone icon, and from there, I can adjust anything I want. Volume, speed, language, gender, and even the emotion of the voice. I set the gender to female and I like the voice Ava, so I select it and set the style to excited, because this AI is honestly really exciting. There's also a checkbox at the bottom that allows these settings to be applied across all other scenes. Once I finish, I hit apply and as you can see the scene one voice has changed. I don't like the text in the scene either so I replace it with subscribe to AI border. Now it looks much better. At the bottom of each scene there are several icons. The first icon, which looks like three lines, helps you generate new scenes with AI and add them to your video. Then there's the plus sign, which lets you manually create scenes with your own videos and text. The next icon allows you to fit the video into your chosen ratio or keep its original size. The effects section is my favorite. You can add tons of cool effects and transitions here. The arrows let you rearrange scenes. And finally, the three dots let you delete or duplicate a scene. On the left side, I click settings where I can further customize my video. First, there's the music section. You can replace the background music and adjust both the track and voice volume. A bit lower, you can edit the video captions. Choose an animation for the captions. Play the video to see which one you like best. You can change the font and style, adjust font size and colors, even move the captions around by changing position. If your video doesn't fill the whole screen, you can also change the background, blur it or select a color. And finally, the cover section, which I think is the most important, lets you change the video cover instead of just using a random frame. If all these customization options still aren't enough, at the top of the page, you can click Edit in Timeline to access the full video editor. There, you have total freedom to apply any changes you want. I want to show you two new features that have just been released from this tool. The first one is Script to Video. After you upload your videos in the MySpace section, go to the Script to Video feature. Here you paste your script, choose the aspect ratio, and then select from the library the folder you uploaded earlier in MySpace. Click Generate and wait a few moments. Your video will be ready. You can even change the voiceover directly from this section, or go to Settings and customize subtitle options such as color, size, and font. The next feature is Idea to Video. Once you enter, type your video idea at the top, choose settings such as aspect ratio, video length, and language, 
and you also have the option to upload your own files. Finally, click Generate. You just need to wait a few moments for the video to be processed. All right, our video is ready. The tool automatically places the best available stock assets on the timeline according to the idea you provided and the script it generates. Just like in the previous feature, here too you can adjust elements such as subtitles and other settings. This AI has tons of other features you'll discover as you explore. Honestly, I feel bad for those who miss out on this tool. So, if you don't want to miss such an amazing AI, don't forget to subscribe to the AI Border channel and write in the comments whether this AI was useful for you or not.